now I just explain to you all how Elise should be played, how you can really carry the early game, how you can snowball, and I want you all to just question everything I'm doing in this game. Like when you see me making decisions, think to yourself like, why is he doing this? Is this good? Is this bad? What would I do myself? Which uh, decision is optimal and why? Like just try to question everything, try to learn. Obviously I'm gonna try to explain as well. I'll try to explain as much as I can about what I'm doing and why. Um, because ultimately that's one of the purposes of my stream, right? I want to be entertaining. I want to, you know, have fun, have a good time. Um, but I also want to be informative and be able to teach you all a thing or two. Now Elise is one of uh, the champs that I, I know very well, that I really like. Um, I mean, there's a lot of champs I know very well. Um, so yeah. Now, in this game it can be good to path to either side lane. Um, Anivia is probably going to be pretty safe from it. Um, but side lanes are both going to be really volatile. I'm going to decide to path towards Renekton uh, on first clear. Renekton is going to be really strong. He should be able to control the lane against Yone. And often what happens when you have a Renekton and an Elise on the same team is that Renekton can set up a slow push top and you dive top level 3. You kill the enemy top laner, you 100 to zero them because Renekton at least is just like a really strong combo. There's barely any counterplay. And then after that, you either dive top lane again on the next stacked wave, or you play another side because Renekton is already winning. But usually, like after getting the second kill, kill top, so what you what you do is that you gank top, you kill the enemy top laners, they TP back, then you gank them and kill them again. And on the second gank, they cannot TP back anymore, so they're gonna lose so so much. And that is what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to shut down the enemy top laner, give Renekton a big lead, so Renekton becomes big and strong and hard to deal with. Once Renekton is ahead, we focus mid and bot, and we try to share the love, we try to help the, the rest of the team. Now, I'm going to move around, and then uh, we play for the dive. I should have pinged them earlier, I guess. Hopefully they don't die. There we go. The big wave that I was talking about is right here. I tank, kill, first blood, that's the first kill, boom. See how simple it is. As long as you come into the game with a plan, you follow through on it, you stick to it, you can often be off to a good start. Now that was the first part of the plan, getting the first kill, burning his flash, burning his TP. Now we need to set up the second play. Now the upside of this is that me and Renekton didn't have to use anything. We have all our sums up. Yone doesn't have anything at all. And it's gonna be really, really hard for him to play against our combo at this point. I have a decision to make now. My uh, my bot side is spawning. My Grump and Wolves are coming up because that's the first camps that I cleared. And I could clear those. Or I could sprint straight top back for the top dive. Now, I don't want to sacrifice myself way too much. So I'm just gonna go clear my Grump, clear my Wolves, and then I move top again. The upside of me doing it this way is that right now, Viego is gonna base. He's gonna go to Grump Wolves. And by the time I'm topside, Viego doesn't wanna be there anymore. He wants to path down. Because with the with how he started, pathing top down, that's naturally gonna be how his second clear is gonna be as well. He's gonna go get his Grump, get his Wolves. He's gonna try to gank topside if Renekton lets him, but if he doesn't see any opening top, he has to path down because his camps are spawning bot side, and that's where he wants to be. So uh, yeah, Viego is gonna be top soon, Renekton ward, so we can spot him out, that's great. Once Viego leaves top, Yone is gonna be left alone, me and Renekton are left in a 2v1 situation again, and we can kill him right off. Now, in this case, if I was Viego, I would have come into the game with a different game plan because it's really obvious what at least Renekton wants to do. They want to dive top, take out the enemy top laner, and he should have been there to cover the first dive. He didn't do that. Uh, bot laner ended up dying. They shouldn't have died, but that's just the way it is. Now, let's see if Viego is smart enough to cover the second dive. Or is he going to leave his top laner to just get smacked? He's gonna try to run. I showed a little bit early. Showed a little bit too early, unfortunately. But, um, 
he's still losing the wave. If I showed a little bit later, maybe it could have worked. The thing is, he was already playing so safe, like already playing back, because he kind of knew what was coming. Bot lane should really be careful. I don't like them fighting, but hopefully they know what they're doing. Viego can be that though. Okay, one for one. Viego should be bot now. Hit a Drake. That's why he didn't gank them. And then we are still no egg. Maybe I can kill her here. Made no flash. Let's see. Yeah, I got it. Great. Well, look what's happening top. Yone is losing what? Three waves? Four waves? This Yone is probably hard flaming his jungle and chat right now. I think I think that's almost a given. He is not happy. He's not enjoying life. And now I can start focusing mid bot. Help the other lanes a little. I think Yone is trying to make it back to top. I'm not sure though. You know I'm just gonna stay because Vigo is gonna have top side again with his top side spawning. Uh, we can contest those camps. I can help Renekton. He probably gets a solo kill here actually. Uh, fun time playing against Renekton at least, isn't it? I'm gonna get the uh, Grump and I can base. Just deny this camp from uh, from Viego. Getting that blue is great too. And Nevia not having blue is uh, pretty rough for her. But a very good boss, obviously. And Nevia is a champion that relies a lot on getting that blue off. There we go. I'm basing on the bot side now. You might cancel me. Sorry, next and he just flashed right away. Too scared of the big crocodile. Are we not just push and kill him? Oh, next one was the base. You know, it's kind of respectable. Let's see. He had the pickaxe. What does he buy? Ah, full blade. Yeah, maybe basing was a good idea. I was thinking of staying and just diving Yone because he was kind of a free kill, but spending all that gold obviously is very smart. Oh, my full jungle is up because I've been in the enemy top side for so long. So I can just get blue, grump, move back bot, help bot lane. Okay, I guess I'm not getting blue, never mind. Scratch that, I'll get grump and then I'll move bot. I could farm here, but the main thing that I'm worried about is that if I farm too much, Viego is gonna use that opportunity, me being off the map, to make a play. Yep, yeah, there he is. So I'll try to help them. Oh god. They ran it down. They ran it down big time. I was on my way, but they didn't wait for me. You see, like everything is planned out. I'm, I'm, I'm doing all the correct steps. My bot lane just has to wait like five seconds. Wait until I'm there next to them, and then they can walk up. If they had waited five seconds, we would have triple killed them three for zero. The game would have been over. Now, because they didn't wait, the enemy AD carry is really fat. And that's really not ideal. Not all things are in your control as a jungler. You can make the correct moves, the right path, be at the right place at the right time. But if your lanes don't respect the enemy jungler, they don't play around you, then sometimes stuff like this can happen. And it's not enjoyable. I think he's gonna go crump. Our team is kind of ending us, but... Uh, that's just gonna happen once in a while. There's nothing you can do to prevent that. Can only con control my own performance. Mm. This guy wants to stop me. We shouldn't let him. Oh hell no! Move towards mid here. Hopefully Echo waits for me. I'm on the way, Echo. Echo is basically Oom. They have warden me too. I'm moving down. A flash soon, might be able to flash in the Nivea. Oh, this could be a problem. Not sure if I know. Well, I just can't live. I have one and a half minutes to pop Herald. Ooh, Renekton, my boy. Uh, the throws are coming in pretty big time. The game should have been over now. It should have been won already with how the early game played out. Like, it, it just should have been over. But, yeah. Uh, this can happen. People want to spice it up. They don't want to win too easily, and they they just want to bring the excitement for the content, I guess. And that's okay. She flashed. 
Hopefully we got anything. I guess we don't. This series is a bit annoying here. Got her. Oh, luckily she finally gave me the angle to Kukuna. Just want to push this in so Harold gets the hit on turret. Renekton keeps dying, unfortunately. It's not doing too hot with this lead. I'm being a little bit greedy here. I might die for this. I will die for this. Just give me tier 2 at least. I don't want to die as a vehicle. That's not going to happen. Oh, Siri is coming too, though. Okay, at least I got a splash. That was actually a shutdown. Wow. Well, um, a little bit greedy jungler. A uh, very greedy jungler going for the tier 2. But I did get it. Can't recommend dying like that though. I need Sonya next, I think. These guys are pretty fat, getting a lot of damage. Lich pain can be nice to go second when you're in a good spot, when enemy team has a lot of squishies. But now, Anivia has mercs, Viego is going to be really tanky soon and... I, I just think Lich Bane is too greedy. Sonya is going to give me a lot more safety, which is going to be needed. Just want to be ready to move top in case they go on Renekton. He's been dying randomly a lot, so if I was them, I would probably keep targeting him. Oh man. Actually, nice. Ooh, Renekton, I need you. Killed one. This guy has no flash and no ult. He's basically just ending. Hopefully Renekton finishes him, or someone does. That's kinda all I have. There we go. Good job, team. Well done. Ah, I don't really want to base yet before I can get Sonya. I can farm my top side, I guess. I will path down. 20 seconds. Giving Drake is really bad here. Like, I cannot stay enough how important it is that we get this Drake. Just giving them third Drake, giving them a chance to get Ocean Soul is a big win condition for them. The Siri is also really fat. Both Viego and Siri are fat, and both of these champs can carry really hard from ahead. So uh, we, we want to make sure that... You're kidding me. It was literally a 50-50. Like, it was actually a 50-50. And I, <laughs> I killed the wrong one. <laughs> That's kind of unlucky. Crocodile is strong and doing work. I keep walking into boxes. This champ has so much movement speed, it's kind of hard to deal with. Get in there, Felius. Show her who's the boss. Flashed onto a box. <laughs> that champ is so annoying. There we go. You only need two guards here too though. Alright, not the worst. We got some kills, got a Drake. I can get Sonya as well. Do you ever run Protobelt on Elise? Hmm. Not really. I like Night Harvester the most. I, I just think Night Harvester has so much value on Elise. I've tried a bunch of different things on Elise. Like I tried Protobelt and Lich Bane too, but. I just don't like it as much. I, I think Night Harvester feels really, really good on this champ. Siri has no cleanse. If I end up going for her, well, she has a ward, then it's not gonna happen. Crocodile is deleting the bird. Crocodile beats bird, confirmed. I'll cover Aphelios after taking this. There's no cleanse, that's just a one shot. I'm in a really good spot. Wait, why are we basing? Hello? Hello? There's a free tier 2 here, my friend. It's a bit strange to base. And since they chase Renekton, we can even hit the tier 3. My Aphelios one is a base here, can you imagine? <laughs> Look how much we're getting. That is not the best base timing. Now we even get Baron. And then he can base, then he can base all he wants. <laughs> I'm so happy he cancelled that base. Thank you for not basing, Aphelios. Great decision. Viego got our butchered. But, uh, 
I, I think we can consider that worth it. I don't know what this guy is doing though. Um, this is kind of taking forever. Oh, Fresh should really tank so I deal more damage. So both me and Aphelios deal more damage. Because the one tanking deals 50% less damage. Now our Aphelios decides to tank. I, I think it really confuses me that players at this level, the best players in EU, don't know that whoever is tanking Baron deals 50% less damage to it. Like, there's no way on earth Aphelios knew that. Because if he knew that, he would not be tanking Baron. He's our main damage on Baron. Why is he tanking? Why does he want to deal less damage? I shouldn't have tanked for that long either. Fresh should have tanked it and it would have been really nice and really easy. Wait, this guy is trolling. I stunned him. But he has a lot of friends. Popular dude. His friends are all over the place. I don't really know why we're not pushing top. Ideally we pressure every lane against the Nivea. They have so much wave clear. That's the cleanse and the flash. My flash for both series songs. I'll take that trade any day of the week. Ooh, this is not looking good. Um. Alrighty, interesting. Let's make sure we don't throw the game here. Mm. Please, spiders! No! It was so close! If he didn't exhaust me, he would have died. We should get out now. Get out of here. Got what we came for. Now we get Drake and we base. A few moments later. We get Drake and we base, is what I said. But it doesn't look like anyone agrees with me. I used my repel like a second too early. That's kind of sad. But if these guys want to fight, they can fight. I am doing Drake. I'm playing with objective. I don't really know why they're staying, there's like literally nothing to stay for, because we already took the inhib. Oh, this is why they stayed. They wanted to die. Oh, okay. That makes a lot... Actually, no, it doesn't make sense. It's just troll. We should close the game out now. Group top. Yeah, that I agree with. We uh, need to push fast, because our echo has a bit of a death wish. They're still hunting, but we just need to get top inhib fast. At least Yone had a death wish too. Okay, this is really annoying. <laughs> this is so annoying, but it doesn't matter, we get it anyways. One for one. Okay, just worked out really decent. We might be able to end. We're free, we're free. They have their Nivea wave clear. Maybe not. But let's see. Okay. Good work, good work. I'll push bot wave as well. Just need to get all the waves in. And Nivea is gonna get really fat here if we. Uh, let them farm these super minions for too long, so it, it would be nice to just uh, close it out. Okay. Very nice. Easy game, easy life. Had a good game plan coming into it, followed through, and we made it count. A well-deserved victory, if you ask me. Oh, I died. Well, that was a well-deserved death too, I guess. Whichever way, the Renex at least. Hope you all was able to learn a thing or two from this one. I think... I think overall this was a good example of how Elise could be, should be played. When you have a strong top laner like the Renex and you can snowball through. Um, just overall, like even after taking down Yone, taking him out of the game. Made good decisions, followed through and brought it home. G to the G.